If a nuclear explosion went off nearby, you'd know all about it. But what if it happened on the other side of the world? Some nations carry out nuclear testing in secret. They detonate bombs underground or underwater, hoping to evade detection. Aiming to catch them out is a comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty organization, or CTBTO. The group uses a global network of sensors that constantly feels, hears and sniffs the planet for signs of nuclear explosions. So how does it work? When a nuclear bomb explodes, it emits various traces. These include shock waves, low-frequency sounds that humans can't hear, as well as radioactive particles and gases that are dispersed over great distances by wind. Just as seismic sensors monitor earthquakes, they also record shock waves from a nuclear explosion as it ripples through the Earth. Infrasound devices listen out for low-frequency acoustic waves, and hydroacoustic sensors listen underwater for evidence of aquatic testing. Radioactive particles carried by the wind are picked up at air sampling stations. The network can also detect radioactive gases like xenon that seep out from layers of rock after an underground explosion. In 2006, North Korea conducted an underground nuclear test. Two weeks later, a detection station in Yellowknife, Canada, detected Xenon-133, confirming that the test had been carried out. But that isn't all the network has detected. It has captured data about earthquakes, volcanoes, rocket launches, and even the large meteorite that crashed into Russia in 2013. However, the system isn't perfect. In 2009, North Korea conducted one of its three underground nuclear tests, but gases attributed to that event were never detected. <laughs> 